Hello and welcome! For this video, we want to deviate a bit from how we usually structure our update videos. As you may know, a lot has changed across the industry and with time splitters across the past year. We've been heads down on Rewind making progress towards our initial release. While we usually put months of time and effort into our update videos, we are shifting our focus to ensure we are able to produce at least some type of content from the team. So, we are making this video to just have a candid discussion about Rewind. Looking back at our old builds, it's probably one of our own biggest motivators. This game has been in production for a crazy amount of time, and there's still some time to go. Often, it's great to look back and see how far this project has come. As you'll see here, we've made some progress on a few key environments. This includes Planet X, Warzone, Siberia, Hospital, and Circus. We've also made substantial progress across the rest of the game, but it hasn't always been as fast as we'd like. With the state of the game's industry, it has placed our developers into an incredibly challenging space where Rewind cannot be a focus for them. Whether that's dealing with potential layoffs, an increasingly difficult job market, or in the case of Time Splitters, some changes to the landscape of the IP. Time Splitters Rewind being a free project means that it cannot be at the forefront for people. This has always been the case, but specifically within this last year, that has been especially true. In order to finish this game, we truly need more help and a more refined focus. While progress is still getting made, substantiability is key for us, and we need help to polish and refine our existing assets. We need character artists, people who are capable and willing to adapt the original style, mostly akin to Future Perfect, to the goals of Rewind's art direction. We need environment artists, people who can help bring our environments from their first pass status up to a second or third pass. We need a technical designer who's willing to own Mapmaker and bring that to ship, alongside someone who's able to help fix bugs and implement final features. We also need character animators. We are really behind on character select animations and need more of these assets to be produced. Lastly, we need a weapon animator who's able to bring our final weapon assets to a playable state. Many of our developers have been able to leverage their time and experience on Time Splitters Rewind to transition into a full-fledged game development career. In addition, on account of our progress, we're close to enabling our developers to say they have a shipped title, which can be very important when job searching and building your career. If there is any interest at all, we would love to hear from you in the Discord linked below. Just head on over to the hashtag Portfolio channel and post your work there. We appreciate anyone who is interested, and we will always be on the lookout. That all being said, we cannot overstate our need for help to make this first release the best one possible. We have a lot of assets right now that are close, but just need that extra amount of polish to really nail it. So what's left to do? We have some finished environments, some that are, well, functional, meaning that they've gotten a first pass. The first pass is what we consider as, they took the original map, 
updated materials and models to have HD assets, and fixed up the lighting. If we positioned well to do so, we'd like to get all of our shipping environments up to second or third pass, which includes a full lighting pass, decals, color grading, and more. Possibly the map that currently needs the most help is Spaceways, while we've been working on ways to assign artists internally onto split sections of the map, the map is very behind on first pass status, as you can see. In theory, we'd like to get this map beyond a first pass and include things that artists can take ownership over, like posters, signs, tunnels, and more. For weapon animations, there are completed weapon assets that just need animations or incorrectly animated weapons that need fixing. For characters and music, we just need new assets, but for every new asset is a potential new bug or issue to iron out. So, last video, when we said content lock, that's what we mean. We're trying to avoid introducing anything new into the plan to ensure that we don't continue to endlessly add unique issues that we need to deal with. While some bugs will inevitably come up during the polish phase, we are hoping to keep it under control and ensure that our testers are able to actively understand and break down problems they come across. As far as our flexibility with adding new assets, well, right now, we typically don't have enough help to prioritize anything but assets within our current plan. So unless we have changes to our team composition, representation from Time Splitters 2 and Future Perfect may be quite limited. But that's still roughly where we're at, still close. Some other areas we're currently looking at includes a rework of our core AI systems, extended controller support, cleanup of our networked multiplayer, and overall combat refinement, including weapon balancing. A lot of our early testing has been focused on purely the functionality and technical aspects of our game. But as we move forward, we're looking to dive into more internal feedback about design. The answer of how do you combine three different games that all feel, look, and behave differently is a tough one. We want to be able to do justice to each while still allowing for a cohesive feeling experience. This is an ongoing discussion that will require a lot of conversations to really get the best version we can. That essentially summarizes what we have going on. Again, we want to have a more candid conversation. Will we develop an update video like our other prior updates? Potentially, but we wanted to get something out to help describe where we are for now. In any case, feel free to join our Discord to continue the conversation, and we look forward to sharing more progress as things develop. Just like to say thank you very much for watching this, and rounding things off in the usual way, it's time to split!